So this is uh, just a short video showing you how to use uh, math type with uh, Microsoft Word. So you need Word open and math type open. So if we're going to do a formula like detention in a cable, T equals, and then we want a fraction. So you click there and the numerator we can type in WL squared, do L squared with L then shift six and two and press enter. And then the denominator is eight S, but the shift and six to get the power will only work if we set math type up in a certain way. So all you need to do to get it to do this is click on preferences and then workspace preferences. Then make sure the allow text language entry from the keyboard is ticked. And you only have to do that once and then you can press OK. From then on, you'll be able to do shift and six for powers, which is loads easier. You have to press control and space bar to do a space in a formula. So we'll rearrange it to find S, but you can grab what you've already got and copy it with control and C or just right click and copy, then paste with control and V or right click and paste. And then you can start putting numbers in. So I'm going to put S equals paste the formula that's rearranged and then put the numbers in, substitute them. I've got 1.7 and then the times button and you'll be given the length. You'll be given all of the variables. But it's quite easy, like on the other equation editor, you put a multiply sign there. It's quite easy to change things. You just highlight them and write over them. We have to press control and space to do a space bar. Don't forget your units and then select it and you can do control and C to copy or right click and copy. And click into Word and paste and it's there and you can edit it. You can make it larger. You can double click it and it opens math type and then you can add lines or things like that. You can change it, then uh, copy it again once you're happy with it. Uh, press delete if you want to get rid of that top one. Just press delete and it goes. Every time you double click this equation, it'll open up math type and you can uh, change it. You can edit it if you want a new line or anything like that. Don't worry too much about the spacing, but sometimes you want a bit more room. I just pressed delete then and got rid of that. If we're going to work out Pythagoras finding the hypotenuse, say, there's more than one way. Uh, I would type like the hypotenuse or if that's what you're doing. And we've already got the a squared plus b squared all square rooted. So it's already there. You can click that. I'll show you how to do it manually afterwards. So equals a squared plus b squared all square rooted. And then click it again to actually put the numbers in for what the other two sides of the triangle are, then select them with the keyboard or your mouse, change the values, and it's pretty straightforward. Just remember to click control and space to do a space, and then you can right click and copy and paste it into Word. Don't forget your um, units. And this is the other way to do the square root sign. And then shift and six and two to get the squared. And then I'll do plus. Then I'll press B. Then I'll press shift and six and then two to get the power squared up in the air. So that's the other way, but it does already have this formula there for you. So you can just click on it. and paste that in. 
If we're finding an angle using an inverse trig function, that's pretty straightforward. Let's so say the angle, whatever you want to call it, is equal to, say it's a uh, tan to the minus one. So you type tan, and then you need to put the minus one as a power. So you can do shift and six, or you can click the little power icon and then type minus one. And then it's going to be tan to the minus one uh, for two side lengths as a fraction. So we need a bracket and then a fraction. And you do the opposite over the adjacent. And then type equals. And whatever your answer is, you type it. Don't forget to press control and space to do a spacebar. And if you want to put degrees at the end, you can do shift and six, or you can press that button to get it up in the air and then click on the degrees operator, a little empty circle. You could always type degrees instead and copy that and paste. There you go. So I uh, hope this was useful. Please have a go yourselves. Have a play around.